What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. It's another week of photography vlog. This week's video actually takes place in the north coast of Ireland, in the north coast, on, on the, north, the coast. north coast of Ireland. We actually went on a little trip and it actually happened, I, I guess, a few weeks ago, actually. It kind of took a little bit longer to get this video up. That's kind of my fault. And um, with these videos, obviously they're kind of a mix between like the cinematic videos we make and a photo of just a normal photo video so yeah uh, i get a little bit um i try to make it too perfect um <laughs> it just takes long and then sometimes you don't you don't want to do it because you, you want to make it really good and you just don't feel like you're in the flow to do it and yeah it, it just took a little bit longer than than i wanted it to anyway with that being said i hope you enjoy it i hope <laughs> i do too I personally hope you enjoy it. <laughs> we hope you enjoy it. This video begins along the beach right below the famous Musadin Temple on the north coast of Ireland. The temple sits right at the cliff edge overlooking the beach which makes for a pretty epic scene. I've been acting like a wild man Sleeping like a child So luminous and vibe We just strolled around on the beach for a little while looking for a few different ways to shoot the cliffs and the temple. This is one of those places where you're constantly drawn to just shooting lots of photos that look quite similar. Because the temple's just right there, you kind of lose focus of everything else and just end up focusing on it. But either way, we're still happy with how the shots turned out. down here. Chris forgot our lapel mic by the way so I hope you can... Mm, I did. I thought you were like mm, no I didn't. <laughs> yes you did. I hope you can hear me. It's a little bit loud and windy but yeah I hope you can hear me. We're currently at Musadin Temple. It is a very very cool spot along this beach um, and we've just been getting trying to get some pictures and photos. Pictures and photos? Pictures and <laughs> video from down here at this spot and then we want to try and make our way up up there to see if we can get some more photos up there so what are your thoughts epic so cool epic spot very very cool probably can't hear me but whatever True. epic there's also the train that goes if you can see right along this beach this is actually a train track never seen that before ever train actually goes along the beach how cool and it actually disappears into this hole over it's here it's pretty cool very very cool but it, you have to get the timing right in order to get a photo of it so we'll try but I'm not sure if we'll get one you know that's perfect for that but yeah let's head up there and see what we can get up there I 
As we were making our way up to the entrance gate, I actually spotted another opportunity for a photo, which is always nice before you even get to where you're going. Uh, the dandelions and this kind of smaller little temple that was sitting there just made for a very simplistic photo, which I do really like. And it kind of set the tone for the rest of the photos we ended up getting to. I really love the vibe of these photos of the water and the beach, but unfortunately when we got to the downhill house and temple, the light was fading. We hung around for a while, but decided we should probably come back first thing in the morning at sunrise. It was a super early start but we made our way back up hoping that we would get a great sunrise and some beautiful morning light. Turns out that was a pretty good decision because there was literally no one around. And that is one of the best things about being somewhere that early. Well, another really early start and we're hoping this isn't going to be a complete waste of time. The sun was looking, e well I mean the sky was looking epic, it was completely pink everywhere when we were driving up here. To, we're going to where we are at Dunluce Castle by the way, which is an extremely old and extremely cool looking castle. And yeah, plan was to get some shots at sunrise. It There's no sun. Kind of came up and like lit it a bit, and I was just kind of lining up a shot. And now it's uh, kind of gone behind some clouds, and it's not looking great. It doesn't really look. It certainly doesn't do it any justice. <laughs> so, no. 
We're just patiently waiting mm -hmm. at like what time? Like at five in the morning. <laughs> uh, show them, show them what we're currently dealing with here, sunrise-wise. <laughs> so this is currently what we're dealing with. Well, we were a bit unlucky. It did not come out. It's still, if the sun is still there, it's behind all these clouds. It doesn't actually look like, I mean, it is kind of overcast, but I thought it would have just came, came through the, those little bits of clouds, but it didn't. So we're left with a very bland, flat looking <laughs> Donless castle. Very unsatisfying. It is. Uh, I mean, we've got up early, so I was kind of looking around to see if we could get a few shots, snap those few shots that you've just seen of the little cliff edge and I'm actually quite happy with how that looks. The grass just kind of frames it nicely, and yeah, I mean, at least I got something. Know, kind of one shot. So yeah, it's getting really cold because the sun is literally nowhere to be seen. So I think we're just gonna head back. That's unfortunate. Kind of annoying because this is our last day up north here, but I mean, we we'll, we will be back, and hopefully it hopefully it looks better. So <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely freezing now though. Let's go. Still recording. But yeah, more of the story is it doesn't always go to plan, but see if you can at least get a photo or two if you've made the early start like we did. And uh, you might actually like it when you come back and edit it. And hopefully that is the case with that one I just took. Mm -hmm. And that is pretty much where this one ends. The light started to get really harsh. And as you all know, that's kind of when you stop taking photos. <laughs> that's when it's over. As I mentioned earlier in this video, we did end up taking a lot of photos of the temple itself. I mean, it was the reason we were kind of going there. It's the most epic yeah. looking part of the whole area. But yeah, I would have liked to have took some more photos down at the beach. <laughs> yeah. It just, there was a lot of like cars and stuff parked on the beach behind us and there isn't that much really going on there. So obviously your attention's all drawn to the temple itself and kind of the same up at the top, although there is a few more things and we got some cool shots up there too. But yeah, probably, probably a few too many of the temple. Yeah. So if you got a little bit sick of seeing photos of it, we do apologize. It is probably because also you're focused on trying to get a really good photo of the temple. So you're yeah. trying to get it from all different angles. And then you, you end up with so many photos that are actually pretty good. So I think we got a lot of good ones, just maybe too many of the same thing. As we always like to do at the end of these videos, pick your favorite photo. What's yours? Okay, um, I think my favourite photo is probably the one of the temple. <laughs> Just kidding, there's about a hundred of the temple. <laughs> there is. And there's many more that you also didn't see. Um, but it would probably be... actually This one? Yeah, this one right here um, on screen. Um, with the one little dandelion just There was a lot there. of dandelions around, which is why we took so many yeah. photos low down, just because they're, they add a little bit of interest to the foreground, which I thought was good. Yeah, so I really like that one. And I also really like the drone photos um, from above with the long path. I just like the perspective that the drone can give you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, this one's hard for me because I, I think they're all pretty good. I think the one inside the... It's not actually a castle, it's the house, I can't remember the name of it, um, that you can see in the drone shots and the shot of, um, like, along the little pathway inside the house, it kind of frames the, uh, like, entrance or the inside part of the entrance with the light shining in. Okay. Uh, I think that one turned out pretty cool. It's actually, like, multiple exposures. I set the tripod up for a few of those because it was very dark inside and then the light was very strong on, on that certain part in the centre. But, yeah, pretty happy with how that one turned out. We would also love to know what your favourite photo was from today's video and if you're ever around that area, around the north coast of Castle Rock, we definitely recommend you go visit Mustadon Temple. Definitely. We have mentioned in previous videos, by the way, that we wanted to try out some new lenses for the X-T30 
Um, we would have done that by now only with the whole Brexit scenario. Um, <laughs> we can't really get lands as a lot of the lands around places can't get them in. So then we can't get them. But hopefully that'll be fixed soon and we'll be, we'll be able to try out some new lenses because, yeah, that'll be fun. And also, we are thinking about doing a few live streams soon because it's just something that is quite fun to do and we get to know you guys a bit more and you get to know us a little bit more. Um, yeah, let us know your thoughts. Would you like to join us with on a... On a... With a... Would you like to join a live stream with us? Just <laughs> yeah. chill out, maybe edit some photos and just... Just whatever. chat and drink tea. Lots of tea. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, we would appreciate it if you give it a big thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down below too so you can see more like this. Is that it? I think that's it. As we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger.